And we'll get this final one real quick. This is gonna be a- th oh, good god, don't fall. Damn it. Well, that's embarrassing. Hopefully I don't do that more than once. And no, I don't know if I do that more than once. Um, okay, cool. So, this is gonna be a little bit of a theme in the next few areas, or the next area as well. Um, there's always one up at the top where you have to do some, like, ridiculous jumping puzzle with spikes and doom. But regardless, we're done. Extreme camera! Well, let's go get that thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. This was indeed the vampire warrior depicted in the fountain room, for here was the hero's weapon. This could be the key to solving the riddle of the fountain. And he stares at it blankly for a little while, and we get the blood drinker. So yes, this actually is the key to the fountain. Because literally, it's a fucking key, essentially. So let's get out of here, because I'm sick of Raziel's puns. Bye, hot chick. And uh, here's that soul basin. Yeah, good times. Glad I demonstrated that for no reason. So, we're off to the fountain room. Uh, we gotta go ahead and get this piece done. Now, the weird thing about this game, or this level, per se, is the fact that... Uh, when you're playing through this, certain secrets do not activate until after you have taken a key and placed it inside its quote-unquote receptacle. Just because I don't want to spoil the moments. Oh look! Three of them now! Fuck, man. This is not a challenge. This is just annoying. Eh, still hit me. I say as I say this isn't challenging. Wow, none of those guys hit each other. That's pretty awesome. There we go. Theoretically, three should be easier to deal with than uh, two, because they should just be hitting each other non-stop, but for some reason they're not, and it's a little annoying. Plus, it's so much more area to actually have to deal with it makes it any kind of bitch. It's not really harder, it's just dumb. There we go. One of you kill at least one of the others. I demand this. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, guys. There we go. Alright, finally, one's dead. So that means at least one of these guys is really close to being killed as well. Hopefully it's you. No, it's not you. Maybe two. Yes. Yes, no. No, yes, no. Fuck you. Anyway. Back to dealing with two. This wouldn't be so bad if, uh... No, I'm not gonna spoil it. This is not the last statue encounter in this area. It'd be fine if they escalated it like this, but come on, man. It, this is ridiculous. And the best part is it's also not the last one in the game, so, you know. Good thing they like wasting our time. Why do I keep using weird accents for no real good reason? It's not even an accent, it's just like talking here. I'm getting bored. Because of you! You're not even on fire. Kari would cry. God, if nothing else, I really just love the look of this level. They did such a good job making this old, creepy vampire mansion. It's always interesting to see how much respect Borodor pays to his masters, too. I hope I said cool and not weird, because I'm thinking weird, and now I'm questioning myself. I'm gonna go 
with I said cool. Because I don't remember what I said, I just spout shit out. Yay! Aw, oh, bitch. I really like the glass atrium of thing going on up there. Anyway, check this out. Dramatic tension! <laughs> stab, stab. So cool it had to be instant replayed. And then the wall breaks. Behind each of these, well, behind the first two of these, is a soul basin, so that's nice if you're running low on health from running around so goddamn much, which is, you know, entirely possible. And of course, these two doors open based off the Reavers we gained last time with Raziel, which feels like 800 years ago. Lots of shades. Don't care about shades. Getting sick of shades. Those uh, paintings are eventually relevant, and you can keep running along the side here. I always wondered why, because you know it just makes it confusing. But really, you do have to jump down into this pit and do a little bit of this, or eventually this when I realize what I'm doing. There we go. And thankfully, once again, defying the rules of the game, Raziel can still, you know, climb up these spirit walls. For some reason this is extremely inconsistent in the game and there are actually walls you cannot climb in the spirit realm. I'm assuming it's because they're not all glowy like this. I don't know. Oh, a cutscene. This door clearly required some artifact before it would open. You mean like the artifact picture that's right in front of the lock? By the way, that's a terrible idea, I'm just stating. Like, if you build a door, don't, like, make an exact duplicate of the key right above the keyhole. Someone just traces that down on a piece of paper, comes back, steals all your shit. Yeah, not a good plan. Especially when your key is just a vague geometric pattern. Anywho. Some of this stuff is skippable, thank god. Uh, more paintings. Now, these paintings will be explained a little bit later, once we get towards the uh, final key. Or weapon... weapon key. Lots and lots of prisoners here. This is another place where the camera likes to play tricks on you. I would not be shocked if people in this area had the camera lose them, sort of like Akari was saying. Happens to him quite a bit. Um, yeah, the camera just likes to go all sorts of crazy, psycho places here. Also doesn't like to show you your jumps. Ah, shit, I broke the statue. Just kidding, that statue being broken actually helps a lot, considering it lets you get back up here if you F up this jump. Which is, you know, super highly possible. I love that dramatic jump of, like, quick camera close-up and you're stuck in a corner, just like the rest of the finds. Get used to it. Don't use this pillar. Never jump on that pillar and then go into the spectral realm, because you just go straight to the ground and that's retarded. Instead, what you're going to want to do is hop on this pillar, which puts you nice and high to reach the next two other ones. Columns, not really pillars. Especially considering there are, like, you know, majorly plot important pillars in this game, so, yeah, columns. <laughs> <laughs> 